What's up everybody? Welcome back to the garage. We are out at the fairgrounds in my hometown of Springfield for the Mo C10 Addiction Cruise and Truck Show. It is nothing but classic C10s, 20s, and 30s. It doesn't matter what it is. It just has to be a classic Chevy truck. But there are, I think I just asked my friend that puts the show on, he said something like about 500 trucks are here. There are a ton of them. We're going to give a walk around, check out some of the cool ones that I liked. Um, check out the dyno they've got going on um, just do a quick walk around stuff like that so make sure you like subscribe share with your friends let's get to it we're gonna try to get this without the music copyright in the background guys but if you remember the gas monkey garage truck that got wrecked it is now owned by Diebold auto body and they are the guys that got it in restored it back so here you can see right in there where it says gas monkey on it we're gonna hope we don't get flagged for music in the background because it's pretty loud and I guarantee we'll get flagged for copyright. But it definitely looks good now that it's back in its glory. This was probably my favorite truck that they built on the show just because I'm a truck guy. So, sorry if I have to cut this video a few times, guys, but this music will probably get me flagged, so I'll probably have to pause it a few times and make it so that I don't get in trouble. But it is a really cool truck, really good looking. I love, I don't, I like the green, but I wish it was a little darker. Or either a little darker or a little more poppy. I don't know. It's okay, just kind of a, a limeish. But it's cool either way. Go check out this orange cream sickle. This thing's pretty nice with these old stripes on it. Purchased at Reliable Chevy in 76, an original paint and trim, original wood, original interior. Don't usually see these, it's still got the wood in the bed from the original. Let's check out what's in the back of this thing. Check this out. This Apache is one of my favorite cars that I've seen around. I love the combination of it and this camper that they've got. Little Honda Trail 70 is pretty cool. One good thing about this show is A1 Automotive raffles off an engine. These guys do this quite a bit around here. They are a excellent machine shop. So if you're in Southwest Missouri or anybody that wants to spend uh, the money for the distance, hit up A1 Automotive Machine. There's their phone number if you need it. These guys do killer work. That's a nice little blazer over here. This thing's pretty cool. Not much on the pea green. But it is a nice, nice truck. Got some nice tow trucks over here. There's a nice tow truck. It's just a hauler. But this car hauler is nice. I'd definitely like to have me one of them. Would definitely make road trips a lot better. A good looking truck with those copper colored wheels. 
bronze, I guess, whatever color they are. Got a nice seat in here. It's a nice seat with a diamond stitch. Got like velour or something. I don't know about that material. All right, let's get back to walking around and checking out the cars. I ran into an old friend of mine that I lived next door to in junior high. I'm 42 now, so that was a long time ago. So we sat there and BS for quite a while. And then I met another YouTuber that's out here, square body stuff. I talked to him for a while. But now let's get back around here and look at these. Yes, it is cool. No, I'm not going to paint it. That's about my philosophy on some of mine. I don't know how much of this I'm going to have to make quiet because of the music they've got playing occasionally in the background, but we'll go check it out. Bonanza. Looks like my daughter's truck. check out this blue truck this is pretty nice this looks like a nice little driver Check out this GMC step side. Better not sell that truck, boy. I hope I did. Proud dad, memory of Roy. Special thanks to Biggie's Restoration, Valentine Auto Body, Bruce Roberts, second owner, purchased in 87. Got it pulling a Ford out. Look at that. Best sign right there. Don't touch my your, shit. Is that yours? No, it's probably them back there. Oh. That's her sign. She put that in there. You can need it. The drawings of 245. We've got all kinds of great stuff raffling off today, including a 424 pink line in the raffle. That's
92. What's up, Clayton? Torque's way up because it's running through the gear. Right. So we got Clayton over here at Horsepower Proving Grounds. Got our local hub dyno that everybody uses around here. Good friend of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Truck sounded pretty good on there. I got to get my vehicle over to his place and get the rat rod on here and get some tuning done on it. But we still got to finish some other shit first. So I got the hood ornament on this thing. This is pretty cool. And they are going to hook you up with a t-shirt here. And make sure that they get you the right size t-shirt by doing it that way. Look at the truck number 275. Truck number 275. That's 275. That's some nice interior. I like that plaid. Truck 323. Truck 275. Truck 323.